I say we get this car broken in properly, get some miles on it, mm -hmm. put some speed rated tires on it, and see just how fast it goes. Good morning, sir. Good morning. <laughs> we in the right place? Yeah, yeah, he's uh he's trying to turn that big old trailer around. Oh, James is up there already? Okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay. This is the place, but um, that trailer's too big for that driveway. Uh, I would agree. So uh, he's thinking if he can get it turned around, just park it here on the road and we can just push it out. Push it out too. Agreed. So he's up there? Yeah. Well, let me go. I to drive I, up there. I'll go see if I can help him real quick. Right around the van. Yeah. All right, very good. So we're on a one lane road in Marble, North Carolina in the mountains and there's James trying to turn around. Hey sir, you can't park there. What's going on? What are you doing parking there? I gotta put this big thing somewhere. You holding traffic up and everything. I know. <laughs> Good morning sir. Car's at the end of the, no I'm just kidding you. How are you? Dennis, <laughs> we're up brother. Uh, pleasure to listen, meet you. Listen, um, we determined with your driver that if he's going downhill, we can get the car out and push it in. Okay. Because there's no way he's backing in with this uh, ground being uh, muddy. That front end of that thing's gonna go Wah! I would've pushed it uphill, but you know what, James, if you wanna go downhill, that's what we'll do. Well, <laughs> he's gotta turn around. Okay, fair enough. Right? Is that Zach on the camera? That's Zach on the camera right nice there. Nice to meet you, Zach. <laughs> so, okay, let me get this guy turned around. All right, very good. We'll meet uh, you down there at the Eagles. Yeah, I want to see the surprise back there on your face. Hey, James. You seriously can't park there. I know. I'm working. Okay. We had a state trooper come up behind him already. All right. Uh-oh. This is interesting, to say the least. The pickles we get ourselves in. And that's why the trailer's so beat up. We're in Marlboro, North Carolina, in the middle of nowhere. One lay blacktop. We got the big trailer up here, and we are rescuing an incredibly rare and important American Motors Javelin. Grab your cup of joe, let's go get it. So that window on the trailer, the reason we left it there is actually was installed by Copo at Chevrolet. <laughs> you were literally sliding. Uh-huh, oh, it's like ice. <laughs> you should have seen us going uphill. Hey, Dennis official. How are you, sir? Good to Pleasure see to you, meet uh, you in person. Bobby finally. Ryan! So we've been working what? Clay Ford. Hey, Clay, how are you, sir? No, How many really? months have we been working on this deal? At least three. Three months. Okay. Yeah. I'm dying to see it. Let's go see it. Okay. I'm glad you didn't go in here without me. No, sir, I would not do that. <laughs> and my everything's here for sale except Alice. Okay. But my mom's name is Jeannie. Uh-oh. Okay. So we won't sell her. <laughs> so what I'm hoping is that you're going to teach me all about these cars. Because right. I believe that you know way more about them than I do. Maybe, but I know you do your homework from your shows. Well, normally pretty, he's pretty good about that. I study it really, really hard, and this time I didn't because I want to learn from you. Okay. I want to learn from you on this car. I'll teach you what I know. I'm not an expert, but I do know one thing about AMCs, as you probably already know, dealing with them, is that they were not conventional. No. They had did not have numbers matching motors. Correct. They didn't have numbers matching transmissions. However, from the VIN number. This is what I'm told, and I know it's true. You can discover exactly what that motor was, 390, 290, 343 from the factory. Well, we don't want a, any of those. We want the 401. <laughs> this is a Z code 401. Okay. Let's, see, let's see it. Okay. So the Z is in zebra. You guys have heard me talk about that before. Is holy grail stuff, James. Where's your smile? Right here. Because that's 401 <laughs> four barrel. My friend. Does that make it a 4-4? Four four? This is not a rust bucket, and this is going to put a smile on your face. You ready? I'm ready. The big reveal. I'm ready. I'm and ready. I know that word's going to come out of your mouth. Holy okay. <laughs> this thing is bad to the bone. So, is this the same as the like a, a Donahue car? It's the same as a 72 AMX. Okay. However, it's a Javelin SST. And, but the state troopers, and I'm going to quote, I've heard 10 people say it, had to have this. They had to have it because back here goes state trooper. They needed their logo. Now, instead of AMX, 
they badged it from the factory 401. Unbelievable. Yep. This so, is this is an NOS taillight, NOS bumper. Waldron's exhaust. I was fortunate enough to find them. They reproduced the exact bends. Their father, this guy John, his father made the bends for javelins. So and what got me really excited about this car the first time I talked to Mr. Raymond was when he restored this car, he used as many NOS parts as possible. These parts are not easy to find. with me. Look at the, look at the uh, uh, padding. All brand new rubber everywhere. Doors, hood. Okay, well let's tell everybody real quick what this is. This is one of 131, I've got documentation, uh, 1972 Alabama State Trooper car. How cool is that? Uh, the documentation shows how many came Admiral Blue and Stardust Silver. There were more of them. Now they did own uh, the detective ones somewhere in brown, uh, burgundy, all silver, but all the 71s came in a silver only. I think this is the best color combo. Me too. Me too. So out of the 132, how many exist? 133. Okay. Uh, there are only about four or five of these that are in drivable condition. Okay. This, in my opinion, is the second most best one. The first most best is owned by Vincent Caleb. And he's been in the circuit, in the show circuit. Okay with his. You can actually look it up on YouTube there, 2013 video of him at the World of Wheels down in Alabama. But but look look at this. Tight everywhere. I got I had it all re-keyed. And you gotta realize these cars were driven hard and put up wet and wrecked, crashed, exactly. jumped. I mean that's why there are very few exist. A guy uh, that I bought this from uh, I'm the third owner, you're the fourth. Okay. Uh, the guy I bought this from said that the state troopers back in the day, yeah, they would wreck them and they would just keep all their wrecked ones and swap a door out, swap out a fender, sure. swap out a carburetor. So you really don't know if it's 110% all original, but I was told it was. Get a view of that right there, my friend. So what's, what is the gear ratio in this car? 273. So we got raise one legger. So you got a 273, so this car, you're not outrunning this car on the highway. No. Period. No. That's, that's what they got these for, because back in the day in Alabama, the judges, the GTOs, uh, the uh, Roadrunners, the Camaros were outrunning the state troopers. Not in this. They said, we need something to catch them. But here's the problem. They will catch them. Not one car got away from them that's documented, but they didn't have nowhere to put the prisoner, so they... <laughs> have to get another car to come and put the prisoner in. They have to wait. Now there is documentation that one state trooper did put his prisoner in a trunk. Really? Yeah. Now I was told this is the original for it, and how you could tell for one thing, it's 67,000 miles, but it's 140 with the uh, tack and clock speedo. That's a very rare feature. Plus, this is the AC vents. So. Correct me if I'm wrong, again, you know way more about these cars than I. This car would go would go way past 140. That's what they they were clocked over 140. Yeah. Now, I, I've read a few articles that said these cars were good to almost 170. Wow. Yeah. You gotta realize you're running on a tire that's rated at 80 miles an hour. Yeah. <laughs> and these that was are, the highest speed rating back then, it was about 80 miles an hour on a tire. New reproduction tires that came with the car. Beautiful. Uh, here's a doc, some of the documentation right here, and this is a list of all of the, with the VIN numbers, of all the cars that were bought. Now, yours is on the second page here with the, with the start. What else is significant about this car is it's a 72, it's not a 71. Exactly. In 71, they only got 13 of them. And now, if you notice the numbering on here, the first two numbers, one, two, are vacant because AMC dealership down in Alabama sent them a Javelin SST with a 304. And they said, uh-uh, this yeah. ain't gonna cut it. It's not enough. So they sent them an AMX with a 401, hence this is what here. The 401 AMX is lost, but they gave it to the Alabama State Troopers and they said, this is what we want. 
this is what we want. And then the other thing in these cars, they have 727s, which are just absolutely bulletproof. You just, this was born you just can't, you can't blow up a 727. That, now, the 727 that's in here did come with this car, and it is rebuilt. And all these wow. are receipts right here, Dennis. So, did all these, were, were all these cars, they all have open diffs in the back? Or were some of them posi? None of them were posi. None of them were Except that AMX that they sent to the Okay, drivers. all right. Yep. Now, that, there is an AMX clone that is out there, and it is a posi rear end. But okay. like I said, it's a clone. It's got brown interior. These did not come with brown interior as you look inside right. here. It's blue. Now this this is a go ahead and roll down that window there. Some things are going to be need to adjustment. I'm not a professional uh, car restorer or <laughs> with the So my general manager and who runs also runs the restoration side of my business just finished his 401 Pierre Cardin. Is that the black one? Yes. Okay. Charcoal with black. But so he knows these cars head to toe. Good. <laughs> when this car gets back to the shop, it, it's coming out of the trailer, straight in bay one, and we're going to finish this car. And my goal is to have this car done in the next 30 days. Get this on camera. This is a, a genuine AMC parts book. Wow. For this car. There are pictures galore here in case you can't read how things go together. That's exactly how I knew what the, how to put the exhaust together. This is very hard, but I got it in, I'm sorry, in this bad condition. So have these been serviced? Are they ready to go in the car? The only thing that I know is serviced on it, and I did it myself, is the, you see the bulbs? Yeah. Those are put in here. Because historically, these gauges were really problematic. A a AMC, very problematic. AMC right out of the chute, bad. Yep. Very bad. Yes. Okay, along with it, an original owner's manual, 72. Okay. Goes in the glove box, which is in the center console there. Uh, this is a carburetor partial rebuild kit. This is a True Blue 72 Tech manual. I've never seen one. Here you go. Goes with the car. Wow. We've got pictures galore, as well as stories in there. Wow. Takes you everything from uh, 304 all the way up to 401. That's awesome. That goes with documentation. Uh, inside here, like I said before. Uh, now, is there a, I believe you told me there is, is there a website dedicated to these? There is. Okay. There's only 13 known to exist. Okay. And most of them are in yards, rust buckets, not nowhere near to be driven. Let's put this in perspective. Mm -hmm. There are more super stock cars known to exist, because I had the Jimmy Walker car than there are state trooper cars. I, I believe this is an absolute holy grail car. It is. <laughs> Especially Dennis, for American Motors. Dennis, if, if I didn't have a, a nervous condition, neuropathy, like I told you when we first talked, uh, nobody would be getting this car. I would put it together. Well, sir, I am very confident that this car will be finished in 30 days. I, Maybe quicker. Well. I had confidence that you would be the right person. I told you that when we first spoke to put this thing back in order. I want to have a little bit of fun. Absolutely. All right. Well, actually, let's look at the serial number real quick, guys. And two is for 72, but Z is the money. That's 401 four barrel. I like this badge right here too, as well. I do too. And I asked my buddy who knows more about these than I do, the guy I bought it from, did that come with them? And he said, yes, it did. I said, because I've seen a lot of them that didn't. They didn't have that little AMC back on it's the back. already missing. This is part of uh, the uh, AC okay. thing in here. We'll put that in the back seat here. So back in the day, you'd hear on the movies and stuff like that, and they would talk about, they would call these uh, bubblegum machines, all right? That's why. Because of that. <laughs> and that's... <laughs> You hear that noise? They all make that noise. That is so cool. That's an original Deets. Now, yeah. the way that these were originally wired for the state troopers is they put the siren into the horn where they would just press it on and off. There is no flip the switch and, really? it, and it goes by itself. Okay. Here's an example. It 
pretty sure we're going to get in trouble with this thing, Zach. It's, it's, not, <laughs> it's, it's not doing that by itself. I have to physically turn it on and off with the toggle switch. Okay. So. Now, I really want to put the Alabama decals back on it. What do you think? Eddie, I would. Okay. Eddie Jordan has, again, a genuine issue. You have to get issued. And his name's over here. Yeah, and All his right. phone number. Well, I'll call him and see what that's going to cost me. Okay, here's the money maker. Yeah, I want to see the motor. Shake. Boy, the paint is just beautiful on this car. It, it needs a few corrections, well, we, but you'll see. We can color sand and get red buff and get that's all that That's what, it, what we'll need. There's a couple of bad spots. So this for us to color sand and buff this car will we'll, we'll take a week. If you look hard those hinges are, it'll stay up there. Wow. Here's the money maker. You have done a phenomenal job on this, Mr. Raymond. Me and my buddy Clay over there got this thing here from Georgia, South Georgia, and it was just a shell. Everything was on the back of my pickup truck, motor, transmission, buckets and buckets of parts. <laughs> Brand new NOS stuff everywhere. This is a NOS grill, NOS front bumper. That's the original siren, and you don't want to put your finger there when you turn it on. You'll, it'll cut your finger off. So not only are these cars ballistically rare, but the fact that you track down NOS parts for this car is amazing. I have to give full credit for that to John Hughes. I hate to ask this, but I'm going to ask it anyways. What was the most expensive NOS piece that you guys obtained for this car? Well, Was uh, it the taillights? He told me that the taillights were now go for $1,400. Okay, I would believe that all day. I'd pay yeah. that in a minute. But. 2600 bucks for the grill. So that was the that was the big yeah. item. Well, I mean, look at that puppy. It is brand new NOS. See, these these grills just didn't survive, especially as hard as these guys ran these oh, cars. They were all cracked, broken. And here's something unusual about this motor here. It's an original bore. It's not 30 over, 20 over, 10 over. It's an original bore. So, so they honed it and put in new rings and did it. That's that amazing because. Yes. The, the biggest problem with the 401 motor is when you have, they're already cut so right. hard already because these motors started at 304, then they went to 360, 390, and they cut it to 401. Yeah. But when you have to bore a 401, they run hot. Yeah. So this being a standard bore motor, that, I'm glad you told me that is amazing. And it has an original, let me go like this, <laughs> it has an original oil pan on there which was built for the state troopers because it has a special sump because they would run them hard, right. 150 mile an hour, you know, typically 100 miles an hour for an hour. And that would drain the oil down. And it would, some of them, they actually blew the motors How out. cool is this? Sir? Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> There's some rumors out there, James, that these cars would run almost 170 miles an hour. That's unbelievable. Yeah. In 72. Yeah. yeah. So, Craziness. if you're a state trooper, you could catch anybody. <laughs> the only thing that would outrun one of these would have been a Superbird. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. And it would have to have Richard Petty behind the wheel. <laughs> but they had the RCA cam in here. You know, they grabbed, got on the radio and boom, they get another javelin How to intersect that. So, between you and John, there's been, what, I would have been 15 years of work in this car? Oh, yeah. 15 years to get this car to this condition. Right. 15 years. I say we get this car broken in properly, get some miles on it, mm -hmm. put some speed rated tires on it, and see just how fast it goes. I think that's a great Oh, okay. We, we've actually done that before with the police car. <laughs> yeah, I saw the white one. That, <laughs> that 129 miles. That's all we do. <laughs> Legally. Uh, this is what's called a P number. And all the, the state trooper cars were 35 numbers, if you could see that right there. This is P11663. Documentation is there. It's corrected across the board to that VIN number. So what was really cool back in the day, uh, same with the, the Hearst Jeepster Commandos. Yeah. They wrote on them with the paint marker just like that, all yeah. of them. That's how, the, that's how American Motors kept track of the stuff, some dude just right on the firewall. <laughs> so, what's the dark blue color called? That's Admiral Blue, and I wrote it down on your okay. thing. And this is Star Double Silver. And it looks blue to me. Yeah, it, it flip-flops out in the sun. This actually turns green sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Well, whoever did the paint body work did a fantastic job. Well, John would argue with you on that. <laughs> there are some spots that you'll see. But well, we'll figure it out, we'll correct them. Yeah, I know you guys will. 
That's an NOS back. Is it is it base clear? Uh, I believe so. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Uh, this also goes with it, this right here. This is a Motorola carburetor, all completely apart. The same as what's in there, but this was not correct as far as the tag to the car. Who uh, did it have a CB in it when the when the I got all the radio in the trunk. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I want to get this back exactly like it was as a police. You car. see the antenna? Yes, sir. That's for their uh, their radio that they have. And from what I understand, they're still running the exact same frequency. So if you got this running and you're in Alabama, you could pick them up. Hmm. But what I would never do is register this car in Alabama again because I understand they'll take the title away. Really? They never issued a title to these cars in, back in '72. The guy that bought it from the auction got the title run through the state of Georgia and the guy I bought it from got a Georgia title I took that Georgia title up here got a North Carolina title and that's what you have this is a holy grail car I think so and I and I will send you the chalice I forgot to bring it but it'll okay. be here next week that's okay <laughs> now let me ask you this uh, you see that Hemi Jeep over there yes sir I'm gonna bring her around We'll hook it up. Okay. Pull it out, and then I guess the best thing to do is to push it out. Okay. But once we get around the corner, it don't have no brakes, so I'll have to hook back up on it. But you cannot. I cannot emphasize em is enough. It raining? Yes. Yeah. You cannot push on this. Okay. These are delicate. Did you hear that, Jane? I did. Hi, mate. You can, put, you can Hi, push here. <laughs> you can push here. Okay. All right. Let's. You want to roll up the windows? Let me. Uh. Let me go get the mini bike out real ready, quick uh, so that we can go. We need the chocks ready too. <laughs> I don't want it to get away from us. Let's get some What's a shame? It's raining. I know. <laughs> yeah. I hate to put a perfect car in the rain. You should have been here. It's never been. I was telling them, I believe it. It's never been in the rain. Maybe we can wait. I don't know. I, you look at the rain. All right, so our plan is we're going to pull this out, go uphill with it, and ease it down to the trailer. To Unfortunately, it's raining, but. This is without a doubt one of the most significant American Motors rescues in quite some time, certainly since we found a Jimmy Walker car. Mr. Raymond, thank you so much. The You're car welcome. is amazing. I'm, I know it's going to the right person and you will do it justice. Thank you for the history lesson. Yeah. Thank Can't. you for being such a good caretaker of that car. Appreciate that. And we, it is literally going out of the trailer in Bay One, which Kevin McCarthy is my general manager and service manager. He knows those cars head to toe. That's what it takes. And I think we can finish that car in a month. Right. Um, I'll send you some pictures of us running up and down the road. Oh man, it's going to be amazing, I'll tell you. Last question. I got it. Okay. You want me to tell you? Yes, sir. Chevelle's. Okay. Restaurant. Is that the question? The best place to eat it around is. here? It is. Chevelle's. Yeah. What a cool name. Yeah. You guys want to go? We'd love to go. All right. Well, let's. We couldn't, we couldn't wait for you to ask. Let's go to Chevelle's. All right. Pretty cool name for a place to eat. Come on in. Those hollows will get you, buddy. You're good. Oh, I'm in for the jalapenos. All right, so we've got onion rings with onion dip. 
You know what? I've never even seen that. Seems like a reasonable thing to do. <laughs> Heck yeah. Right. Outstanding, James. Get it. Chicken. Chicken. That's why they call it a party. <laughs> Woo. That looks hot, Zach. Chevelle. So everything on the menu is uh, car stuff. Chevelle burger. Firebird, as in a hot chicken sandwich. Big block. Big block. There you go. So the big block is 16 ounces of beef. <laughs> Probably it. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. That looks good. Huh? Trying to steal my Impala, James. <laughs> and this is the Impala, which I thought was very fitting because after we leave here, we're going to Knoxville to look at a collection of Impalas. Now, this is different. Uh, yeah, an entire collection of Impalas. This is going to be Best Buy for sure. So this is Italian sausage, peppers, and lots of provolone cheese. Look at that, James. It's gonna be a mess. The only way to eat a burger here. There you go. Rare. It's dripping. That's awesome. Okay. So far, so good. We're at Chevelle's in Murphy. North Carolina. North Carolina. Thank Great you. lunch. Cool menu, nice. good food. Thank you guys so much for your time. Every bite was the best bite. <laughs> there you go. Now we are off to Knoxville. Somewhere. You ready? I am. Let's go. After reviewing all the documents and all the history on this car and all the receipts, Mr. John Hughes and Mr. Robert Raymond have worked on this car for the last 20 years. The motor did go to a professional machine shop, and what's cool is these HP 401 blocks have extra nickel in them. And according to the paperwork, they did not have to bore this block, so it's a standard 401. But it was never started. Talking to Mr. Raymond, it was full of the proper break-in oil, but it had not been set on top dead center. Distributed had not been set. Spark plugs were loose, so we could still roll the motor over. So we brought it to the shop right out of the trailer. We just bought this last week. Roll the motor over, obviously not trying to start it, just to make sure it was loose. Lubricated it, set the distributor correctly, set it to top dead center, made sure everything was tight, checked all the gaps on the plugs, put some gas in it, and what happened? Let's hear it, Juice. So, there you go, the first time in well over 20 years, this incredibly rare 1972 80 PSR is alive. So the next time you see an update on this, it'll be finished and we'll take it for a test drive. See you next week.